Hi, this is Peter Godinus, your ambassador with KADY TV, with another session of Good Morning Oxnard. Today we have the infamous Gabe Salmakian, who is the superintendent of Oxnard Union High School District. Gabe, welcome. Welcome. Well, thank you very much. Thank, nice to be here. I hear there's some exciting news coming up here with the new education initiative, and it's called Link Learning. So don't hold back. Everybody wants to know here. Well, we're very, very pleased to have been awarded a grant from the State Department of Education. And uh, the focus is on uh, career pathways. And uh, we're really focusing on a concept called link learning. And so link learning is how we connect the linking of learning in the classroom to real world, world settings. So we're trying to work with businesses, civic leaders, to provide students the opportunities to expand their learning outside the classroom. Now that's really exciting. Now, so you mentioned business needs to be engaged. Is that that's an important as aspect of this particular initiative? Uh, Peter, absolutely. Uh, this grant actually is designed to be driven by business, and so uh, we've been working with the uh, Alliance of uh, uh, Link Learning, which is an organization that we've developed, and also the Ventura County Civic Alliance, mm -hmm. to really reach out to businesses to engage in our academies. So right now we have 12 academies and we're building to 22 academies district-wide and we've partnered with the National Academy Foundation to really help guide our curriculum and design for these Link Learning Academies. Interesting. Now I know some of the aspects of the Link Learning are not new, but what is the some of the new things that are I think people will be excited about that you'll be announcing and doing? Right. So since night. Uh, I believe uh, seven years ago, mm -hmm. we started the uh, California Career Path uh, Academies, and we've grown and they've evolved. And what's really unique about the new academies that we're developing is that we're really re including a work-based learning component. And the work-based learning component really gives the students an opportunity to go out there and do some internships, really gets their hands dirty, really understand uh, an extension of the classroom. And what we're really excited is how businesses are coming in to work with us as advisory on the advisory boards to be able to take their thinking, their best practices and share them with our students. So our students have an opportunity to go out and participate in the business world, but the business leaders also need to are able to come in and work in the classroom. And I think that's what's exciting. Now, I know that it's, uh, that you said that uh, uh, a lot of people will be going on to college, maybe getting athletic scholarships, going on to universities. What type of profile student does this really you know, benefit the most in this new age? Actually, uh, our academies are open to every single student. Mm -hmm. And what's really important to understand about our Link Learning Academies is they're not vocational in the old ways of thinking in education. Uh, back in uh, the old vocational, it was more about auto shop, metal shop, wood shop, it was more of a, uh, a practical approach and uh, mm -hmm. sometimes it was perceived that kids who weren't able to go to college would take those kind of courses. Uh, the Link Learning Academies are provide a rigorous A through G courses. So every single student who goes through this academy uh, is going through and being prepared for college and that's what's really uniquely different. Our Link Learning Academies uh, in, also incorporated an interdisciplinary approach. So students who are in the Engineering Academy, for example, uh, in their math, in their science, mm -hmm. in their English class, social studies classes, uh, all those teachers at that grade level, 10th grade, 11th grade, are incorporating the curriculum so that it's a thematic approach. And so teachers are really sitting together developing curriculum. Uh, and part of that curriculum really has been developed by the National Academy Foundation who has their footprint uh, nationwide to over 650 different uh, academies throughout the, the nation. So there's a lot of experience that we're drawing on that our teachers have access to. So our students really get a real rich curriculum that's relevant, that's personalized, and it's getting them ready for college and career. Where the old days it was more either college or career. We're focusing on both college and career. That's exciting. Now, you have to put together probably a, really a superpower team. Do you have, want to mention some groups or some individuals who will be really instrumental in making this happen? For so, them? we don't have the model that I can show right now, but uh, I mentioned the Ventura County Civic Alliance, okay. who is a nonprofit organization that really is under the umbrella of the Ventura County Community Foundation. 
And so we've hired uh, Marianne Rooney, who's the project director, and uh, her function really is to work with businesses, civic leaders, and connect with them and help draw them into our district to provide support. Jim Rose, on the other hand, uh, is a director of Career Pathways and Community Partnerships, and his role is to work with our administrators, our teachers, to ensure that not only are we aligning that curriculum, but he and Mary Ann uh, are working together jointly to make sure that the work-based learning component is not only established, but also implemented. Now that's really exciting. Now, do you have any final statements you want to make on this? is all real exciting, but can I just ask you one other question? Uh, what are the stories going to sound like five years from now that you're going to be able to tell the community of all these great things that are going to happen? Right. Well, one of the uh, facts about linked learning and, uh, and the National Academy Foundation model, uh, on a national scale, even in Oxnard Union High School District, 95% uh, of our students who complete these academies go to college. That's a very significant number. So because we are doubling the number of students, or doubling the number of academies, I should say, from 12 to 22, and then expanding the base of each academy, including the new Rancho Campana High School, hmm. we're almost going to quadruple the number of students next year in our academies. So by the sheer number of students involved in these academies, you're going to have a greater number of students graduating from, uh, uh, graduating from high school to go to college. And uh, again, there's a lot of different reforms going on in education today, like the Common Core and 21st Century Learning, which are going to take and be actually enhance these programs as well. So five years from now, what we would like to be able to say is that we have dramatically increased the number of students that are going to college, that we're providing our students an incredible amount of options in all these academies, and as we grow these academies, we eventually want to go wall-to-wall -wall academy to every single school in the district. That, that's a vision. It's going to take us four or five years to get there. Mm -hmm. But Rancho Campana High School, for example, now is starting next year with three academies, one in engineering, one in medical health and science, and one in uh, digital arts and media. And so every single student who attends Rancho Campana will be in an academy. That would be the model in the future that we want to aspire to. And I think that's just going to give our students more option. It's going to connect and link the learning that's going on in the classroom with real world setting. And when kids come to school, there'll be a stronger relevance, it'll be personalized learning. And we haven't even started to mention 21st century learning yet, Peter. There's a whole lot of areas that we're doing that with that, especially as we migrate away from traditional textbooks to electronic learning resources and learning management system. But all of those things that we're trying to incorporate take time and we need to work with our teachers and staff. I know our kids are ready for it. We just need to get the whole system ready for it. You know, it's amazing. It's significant that I'm in front of you right now because the first time I ever saw you was when I was 18 playing football, I got knocked out of bounds, <laughs> and there you're standing there, and I would see you so much longer, and that was my best game, but you beat us. Right. So I know you're a great teacher, coach, leader, and I couldn't think of a finer person to lead this group. So thanks so much, Dr. Gabe. I All really right. appreciate you. Nice to see you. So yeah. let's go get him. All right. This Thank is you. Peter Godinas of KDY-TV with Dr. Gabe Selmakian. Until next time.